yeah, I, mm, I have a few concerns when it comes to this. Let's, uh, let's dive into it. So by now you probably already know the speculation map is out. Horror Night Nightmares released, I believe, pretty much their final map. The houses, from everything that I have been told, and I've heard quite a lot that's speculated and, and in line with what we have here on this map, I'm going to say the houses are pretty much 95% confirmed at this point. Everything I have heard. As far as the lineup, this is what you're looking at for this year. Obviously, titling and structure and little things might change here and there, but pretty much we're looking at the solid lineup of the house. Obviously, Stranger Things has been added. Although it's not really a secret at this point, anybody that follows Horror Nights, at least for this year, Stranger Things has been speculated long, 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 long time ago at this point. So it's not really a secret. And one thing that I do see possibly being a switch out is the Exorcist. I am still clueless as to why this is on the map. Is this sort of a play on words? Is this someone being possessed like Evil Dead? Which if you follow Hollywood's event, their speculation is that they're gonna get Evil Dead Rise. It would be kind of weird that we get Exorcist and they get Evil Dead Rise. Why not just bring Evil Dead to both parks? Dueling Dragons is very much in line. I don't know if it's going to be called that or what it's going to be the story-wise. But from what I've been told, this is pretty much 98% confirmed to be sort of Dueling Dragons related. Or at least some sort of theme with that. And that would maybe tie into something down the road, which when you see it, you'll you'll think back what I'm talking about. Uh, I can't disclose what that is, but you'll know. And really, a lot of people are talking about a Bigfoot house coming to the event. Yeti, Bigfoot, Legends, get it? It's an urban legend, kind of plays in the whole theme of like this year being about Legends. And the last one is the Devil Went Down to Georgia, AKA Crossroads. What I've heard about this one, and I will kind of spoil a little bit, is that this is not really the Devil Went Down to Georgia, kind of take that concept, but this is sort of supposed to be based upon something like a New Orleans type of Louisiana type of house. So expect it to be in sort of a New Orleans type of town instead of it being Georgia. I'm really excited for that one. At least the originals this time have me really excited, more so than the IPs this year. I'm, I'm very concerned with this event, looking at this speculation map. And why am I concerned? Well, let's talk about those scare zones. Now, I can't disclose what was told to me as far as insider information about what you're seeing. The, the Carnival of Oddities. A lot of people, misconception is that they're calling these scare zones. And let me inform you guys that they are not scare zones. A horde is not a scare zone. So if you've ever seen the chainsaw gang or uh, a group with the chainsaws kind of roaming around, that is what a horde is. It doesn't necessarily mean a scare zone. Scare zone is a proper setting, is theming, it has structures, effects. A horde is not that. A horde is just, they just show up, they do their thing, and then they walk off. That's that's pretty much what a horde is. And this is in line with what I was told and what I talked about in our latest Universal Update video. If you saw me mention that, here's a clip. This is a bit of Horror Night news for everybody that's wondering. The Plaza of the Stars is a good scare zone, especially last year it was great but I'm hearing some interesting things about this scare zone. I cannot repeat it because it's sort of one of those take it with a pinch of salt situations and it hasn't been put on any speculation map, so I can't talk about it. If it ends up being what I was told, 
It's gonna be quite interesting of how this is gonna work. Yeah, so that is in line with this whole thing being a hoard in the front of the park. So this is what we won't get anymore. I don't know if it's gonna be for all the time of Horror Nights, unless we move over to the other park, but this we won't see anymore. When you walk in, it's just gonna be a hoard there. At least as far as based on what I was told and based on the speculation, this is kind of what it's gonna be like. If the hoard is true, you're just not gonna really see very much when you come into the park, which kind of sucks because that's kind of the lead up. That's the intro. That's that first kill that, you know, sets you up. But along with the scare zones, there's actually two on here that I find really, really excited for. And the rest are just, I have zero hype for this. I know there's a lot of Vamp fans out there and you guys enjoy Vamp, the Vamp series. I only like the first Vamp because um, it felt really special, unique, something different. And then it's like rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And now we have Vamp 69, which is sort of a Woodstockish sort of peace, love, man, hippies. Um, I have no interest in this. And then there's a Vamp show along with this one, since we don't have the Lagoon show returning, which kind of sucks. That was the big mega thing, I think, at Horror Nights was that big Lagoon show. Now we're gonna have a vamp show. I'm not really interested in either one of these. Then we have Jungle, which could be interesting, but we've had this theme before. And this is for all the older Horror Night fans. We've had stuff like Grown Evil, where we've had big bats and big animal morphic characters before. So maybe it's a play on the words of Jungle. I don't. I don't quite know. I hope it's something really good, but then that brings us to Megan being a horde. So no Blumhouse this year, no Insidious, no Megan in a house, but a horde. Yeah, I, I really don't have very much words about that. Um, I'm not looking forward to Megan being at the event much less it being a horde in the Simpsons area where they're just going to be a group of Megans just running around and with no no set design, no nothing, just, just them running around. That's it, pie with chainsaws. And then what is really interesting is this rumor about Death Eaters coming to the event. And I'm sure we'll do a deeper dive on this in a future video. So stay tuned to the channel, subscribe if you're not subscribed because uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit more in that video. But Death Eaters could be coming to Halloween Horror Nights as far as on the studio side. It has been featured at the event over in Islands, over in uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. But this is the first time being part of Halloween Horror Nights and having Daikon Alley be used for something. Kind of interesting. It could work or it could not. We'll, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Then in the San Francisco area, which this zone itself hasn't always been the best, but I believe this could be a fan favorite. And what the horns are telling me is that this could be a nod to Krampus coming back to the event. Krampus was featured on the park map before, I believe. And now it is back with it being in the scare zone and I am excited for Krampus. And then what we have, which is kind of weird, is we have a scare zone in New York based upon your horoscopes, your characters. So I'm a Scorpio. It would be kind of cool to see a character with a large scorpion um, you know, tail and Pisces and Aries and all these different characters sort of done in a very horrific way. I could definitely see this being the standout for this year, unless all the fans, you know, flock over to the vamp section and it's the greatest zone ever. I'm probably going to hear that over and over again about how I'm wrong about uh, vamp. And if you think I'm wrong about that, leave it down in the comment section. Let's have a back and forth conversation about that. But, um, and there you have it. That is the speculation map. What do you guys think? Leave it down in the comment section, as well as check out this video because we actually go around Universal 
checking out some of the updates and maybe some Horror Nights construction that started.